On the building. That is the USS Constitution. Scanning. Scanning. Accessing pre-war records. Record found. 108th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Battalion. Ahoy there. Tis Providence, a member of the Congressional Army, is delivered to us in our hour of need. I was in the Army, but what's the Congressional Army? Standing orders, sir. Proclamation 3. All members of the U.S. Army are hereby members of the Congressional Army. The Captain requests your presence on the bridge. At the double quick, sir. They went to great trouble to defend this place. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scanned two points off the port bow. Jump to it? Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. First mate? Congressional Army? Why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. Why are you even here, on this ship? It's ancient. This vessel has more than once been the seat of our great nation's naval power. Is it not fitting she don this mantle again? You're in charge here? What? As ordained by the chain of command, the links of which start with our most august admirals and 
plummet to the lowliest of sentry bonds. After all our brothers in arms perished, I reluctantly assumed command. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. It calmed these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan! I spit at you. How did it even get up here? That is curious. Are not boats supposed to be in the water? A harrowing tale of that, there can be no doubt. Or I should say, I assume it is. I came upon her as she is, atop the Sargasso Sea of rubble and misfortune. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but Morats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. What war effort? Against Communist China, of course. But if any Redcoats or Canadians sail nearby, I will give them a good thrashing, to be sure. To avenge the burning of our nation's capital would be a sweet victory indeed. Consult with the Bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. Warning shots. Usually spices. 